Hello everybody and welcome to another YouTube video tutorial and in today's tutorial I will teach you how you can crop videos and movies in Movie Maker in Windows Movie Maker and this is a very nice process because you can get Windows Movie Maker for free it is already pre-installed on Windows 7 and Windows 8 PCs however if you are running Windows 10 like I am you will have to download it from the official Microsoft site um, then install it from there the link will be in the description and just to clarify again if you are running Windows 7 or Windows 8 then you could just search Movie Maker and it should be already on the system and if you are running Windows 10 like I am you will have to download and install it um, from the internet now what you do is you have to open Windows make Movie Maker obviously um, and then get your file ready that you want to crop so one note to say is that this video can be practically in any format this could be uh, an mp4 dot uh, avi pretty much any format that movie maker supports you can do this with um, now just to clarify uh, this is I'm, ha I'm gonna have this file on my desktop just so it'll be easier to see what I'm doing uh, although you can drag files from file manager you do not have to have it on your desktop to do this but just grab your file and drag it into movie maker then it should load for a while now since I have quite a large file it's saying that it needs to configure the audio uh, well while that is happening we're going to create a preset for our video crop now, unfortunately, Windows Movie Maker does not have um, a good visual system of cropping videos. And uh, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to Save Movie and then just scroll all the way down right here. And then it's going to say Custom Settings. So then what you're going to press is you're going to press Create Custom Setting. So what this is basically going to do is this is going to create a custom setting in which you can uh, save movies in. Uh, save movies uh, and uh, videos in so you could place the setting new for high definition dis display uh, well you could just press new uh, so that you would have the most options and then you could name it something like cropping videos tutorial or something like that um, and then these are the video settings so basically this is where I'm going to crop the video so now as you can see this is at uh, 1280 and I'm going to crop it to a thousand and the height is 720 and I'm going to um, put it to 600 and basically you can specify the width and the height of the video and that way you can actually crop it in addition to that you can change the byte rate and the frame rate but this is not recommended for cropping videos and if you do want to crop videos do not change those you only have to um, change the width and the height depending on your uh, needs uh, you could also change the audio format but I do not recommend doing this unless you know exactly what you're doing uh, and then da down here if you see it's gonna say estimated file size 58.14 megabytes per minute of video what this also does is this actually if you crop a video and make it smaller uh, also if you make the bit rate or, uh, or the frame rate smaller it's actually going to this number right here is going to decre decrease and that way you can actually compress the video and if I did this correctly we should get a video uh, file smaller than we started with so what I do is I'm gonna press save and then this is basically going to save it as a uh, WL VS file which is a movie maker video settings file now do not change the folder to which you save this just press save it should go by default to Windows Live and video profiles and then when you press save you can press close and then after that you go back up to file and then when you scroll down you should now see another uh, custom setting which is called cropping videos tutorial this is exactly what I named my setting and if you um, scroll over it you can see that it says display size 1000 um, times 600 pixels and this is exactly what we need so then I'm gonna press that um, and then after that what I can do is I can actually save this movie and then just save the video file to anywhere you want to now I'm gonna save it to my desktop just so it'll be easier to see so I'm going to name this cropped video movie maker and then just press save and then basically what it's going to do is it's going to save the video in the settings that you specified uh, so this is actually where the movie is being cropped the movie is going to become smaller now uh, the file is going to become smaller and we see it 
um, the progress bar go quite quickly, and the reason for that is because when cropping the video, it lost significant quality and pixels, so that means your file sizes will be reduced. And unfortunately, you do not have a visual representation of cropping the video. You do have to rely on knowledge of pixels, so you do have to know the exact dimensions of how you want to crop your video. However, this is quite a handy way of cropping videos because Movie Maker is a free program and you do not have to pay a penny for it. And like I said before, for Windows 10 users, you could just go down into the description and download it from there. And if you are running something like Windows 7 or Windows 10, you can just simply you can just go simply into the search bar and search for Movie Maker and it should be already pre-installed. Now all we have to do now is just wait for the movie to be saved. Now I made it so it will be saved onto the um, desktop. So we should see it popping up in a few seconds or so. Now this is actually another video that I made. This video is actually on my YouTube channel. I just decided to use this video to crop just because you can really see where the edges are. In Minecraft it's quite easy to see if the video has been cropped or not. Okay, so it's up to about 80%. This shouldn't take long. And the more you crop the video, and the more you crop the video, the worse you make the audio quality, the faster it should um, um, render the video. Okay, now it's completed. It's going to tell you you can play your video file now or open the folder that it's in. So I'm going to do is just close. I don't want to open folder. And right here we can already see our cropped video from Movie Maker and this video should be cropped. And as you see quite well right over here, our video is cropped. As you can see the video has become a bit smaller. We can see these uh, black edges on the right and left sides and if we go to our original video this is how the video looked like so the video looked quite different and it has been cropped quite a bit you can see that it has become a bit different you can see how the text kind of got cut off and if you look right over here it has become smaller in size now this size is 697 megabytes but this is 1.91 gigabytes so this is not only a great way to um, deflate your video file sizes this is also a great way to crop the videos and as you can see there's not such a big change in quality from the two videos um, although this one does have more a uh, high resolution and this does have less of the black bars right here we can still see that this isn't that bad quality and although I did not choose to crop it very much however if you lower the pixel resolution even smaller it's going to get cropped even further so that way the video file size will become smaller and it will also kind of get smaller the, the video itself will be smaller so uh, thank you for watching this is Minecraft and uh, See you all in the next video. I hope this tutorial was useful. If it was useful, please smash that like button. Uh, if you like my content, please subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. Uh, right now, my subscriber goal is to reach 300 subscribers. So hopefully I'll reach that before the end of this year. Uh, please help me get to that goal and please visit my channel. If you do like my content, please do not hesitate to subscribe. Uh, and furthermore, if you have any more questions or concerns, you could just drop them down into the comment section below and I'll answer, I'll try to answer as soon as I can. So thank you for watching and this was my Kralix and I'm out.